Hi, and welcome back to the Mr. Brad Warden Show. And we have a review again. This one's pretty new. It's been out a little bit. But it is Cajun Cheddar Flamin' Hot Cheetos. And as you can see, Chester Cheetah's jamming out on the saxophone. And Little Man of Fire here is a beginner saxophone player. So he got the idea. He wanted to jam out a little bit like Chester Cheetah here. So go ahead, Little Man of Fire, if that's what your heart desires. <laughs> beginning hey all right but little man of fire before we do the taste test i will not let you do what chester cheetah's doing here and that is eating the cheetos and playing the saxophone at the same time because you know what cheetoy fingers do cheetoy fingers well you know if you've ever had cheetos it's not a good thing especially if you're trying to do something at the same time because you get Cheeto fingers. Okay. Damn. But we are excited to try him out. I and Little Man of Fire was excited to play his saxophone. All right. So what is the what is the motto of this one? Dangerously cheesy in the big easy. Dangerously cheesy in the big easy. And they are flaming hot, so hopefully they have a little heat to them, because down south, that Cajun kind of food should be a little bit spicy. Cajun cheddar. Also, what's so that's what this we're looking symbol for. right here? <clears throat> Fleur de lis. Fleur de lis is the symbol. The symbol like the saints <laughs> have and the symbol of New that's Orleans. That's because there's a lot of um, people from France that move. French Ooh, influence. French influence. French and Cajun influence. Maybe these Cheetos will make me play the saxophone better. As long as you clean your fingers before you go back to it. Not like Chester All Cheetos right. doing. He's ruining the saxophone. The saxophone's getting cheesy, just like him. All right. Uh, Cajun cheddar, flaming hot, Cajun new cheddar. flavor. Hmm. Is there wheat in these Cajun cheddar ones? Um, milk ingredients. Would you? Would you, camera person? I love you. Alright, so I would say right now heat's pretty decent. Flavor wise, it, I mean, Cheetos are cheesy, but this, you get the cheese flavor, a little bit more cheesy than regular Cheetos, I would say, or a different kind of cheese, maybe. Oh, it's Cajun. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm liking the flavor. The heat level is pretty solid. I would say if you snack on these, most people are going to get to about a 5, I think, out of 10 for an average person. You need some jambalaya and the Cheetos together. <laughs> jambalaya? <coughs> <coughs> Or some seafood and those Cheetos together. Mm. These are good. Good stuff. They're spicy. I like them a lot. <clears throat> I'll take one more. I'm not sure. I haven't decided. Mm. Obviously, we're snacking on them really hard here, so they are good. It's a different type of cheese, though. Mm hmm. I definitely agree. Swiss? I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's sad because they're so, like, processed that I'm not sure what the, um, cheddar cheese. Maybe cheddar? fusion seasoning on it makes it a... I don't know. A lot of different seasoning. <laughs> Actually, you have real pepper seasoning in here. Real I'm good. Pepper. Is all I can handle. Well, what do you say for the heat scale? Mm, if I ate quite a few, I'd probably get to a four. Really? I'd say for an average That's person, me. if you snack them, really? That low? Oh, 
You want them to be high, higher? Well, I just thought for an average person, if you snack them, you'd probably get to like a five-ish. Well, I'm at like a three or four right now. Mm. After two. After eating one or two. So, okay, one or two, you'd probably get to like a three or four average person. Snacking on them, you'd probably hit about five. Yeah, I'm hitting a five. How's your, how's your mouth not burning up, little man of fire? Because... Don't touch your hands know. with Cheeto hands, otherwise you're going to do what you did to the sex, they did to the saxophone. How would we rate these? Oh, they're good. I'm touching my Cheeto fingers to the saxophone. They are, they, <laughs> they are about, I mean around, spicy and about as good as regular Cheetos. I'd say snackability. Mmm. Usually I only go in increments of fives, but I'm teetering between an 8.5 and a 9. Let's do like an 8.8 .8 on this one for flavor. I'll go with a 9.8. Mmm. They're really good. Obviously, you can tell we're just snacking away on them. The bag is not going to last long. It's going to be one of those snacks. But... I like the bag. I like the concept. I like the flavor a lot, too. It, it does have a nice heat for an average person snack, so you kind of have to like heat if you want this. You can see the bag all fired up and burning. Obviously, for a chili head, it's not anything scary, but for an average person, you'll get nice burn snacking on these, I'll tell you. All right, so we hope you enjoy. Go and see if you can find them. They're the Flamin' Hot Cajun Cheddar. Fairly new. They came out probably about a, a month ago or so, maybe a little bit more. Hard to say. But they're pretty new. So if you haven't seen them yet, they're worth trying for sure. Little Man of Fire, you must wash your hands, though, obviously, before you go back to your saxophone. Sad thing. But Chester Cheeto, he's the cheetah, so he can get away with playing and eating at the same time. All right, we hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time on the Mr. Brad Warden Show.